Are you an adventurer at heart? Always wondering about the tallest, the most beautiful, or even the most dangerous mountains in the world? Today we have something spectacular for you. We've compiled a list of the most amazing mountains in the world. Trust me, you don't want to miss this jaw-dropping visual journey. So hit that subscribe button now to make sure you're always in the loop for awe-inspiring content. Number 10. Cradle Mountain in Tasmania, Australia. Cradle Mountain is not Australia's highest mountain, standing at 1,545 meters. However, it is very beautiful. The mountain overlooks a clear blue lake called Dove Lake. The mountain is the main feature of Cradle Mountain Lake St. Clair National Park. In winter, you can see snow on the mountain. In summer, the mountain is surrounded by green grass and trees. People have found old native sites near the mountain. Number 9. Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, Africa. Kilimanjaro is a famous mountain in Tanzania, Africa, located in a national park with the same name. People often call it the Roof of Africa because it is very high, reaching 5,895 meters. The mountain is a volcano, but don't worry, it's not active. The last time it erupted was a very long time ago. If you want to go to the top and see above the clouds, the best months to visit are from January to March or from June to October. During other months, it is more likely to rain or snow. Number 8. Mount Everest in Nepal, Tibet Mount Everest is a mountain that everyone knows. It is the tallest mountain in the world, with a height of 8,848 meters. It is found on the border between Nepal and Tibet in the Himalayas. The mountain was named after a British man, Sir George Everest. However, local people had already given it names. Chamalungma in Tibet and Sargamatha in Nepal. The first time people are known to have reached the top was in 1953. The climbers were Sherpa Tenzing from Nepal and Edmund Hillary from Britain. Number seven. Eraki, Mount Cook in New Zealand. New Zealand is famous for its beautiful landscapes, and its tallest mountain, Eraki, Mount Cook, is no exception. The mountain is in the Southern Alps and is over 3,700 meters high. You can see its reflection in the lakes near its base. People from Europe named it Mount Cook, but local Maori people have always called it Eraki. Now both names are used. If you visit, you can go hiking or biking on one of the 10 trails from Mount Cook Village nearby. These trails give good views of the mountain. If you are an experienced climber, you can also try to climb it. Number six, Mount Fuji in Japan. Mount Fuji is the tallest mountain in Japan with a height of 3,775 meters. It looks very beautiful when it's covered with snow. The mountain is also very important to Japanese culture and religion. People from different faiths like Buddhism and Shinto have visited it for many years. Mount Fuji often hides behind clouds, but you can see it clearly if you wait. While you might want to get close to see the mountain, it is actually better to look at it from a distance. On a clear day, you can even see it from tall buildings in Tokyo. Number 5. Viniconca in Peru Viniconca, also known as Rainbow Mountain, is in Peru. The mountain is special because it has pink and yellow lines. These colors come from different kinds of minerals in the rock. The mountain is a three to four hour drive from Cusco, a city with beautiful old buildings. 
To reach the top, you must go on a tough six-day walk called the Osongate Trek. Some parts of the trek are very high, more than 4,800 meters, so the air is thin. It's important to drink a lot of water and take breaks. You should also bring medicine like paracetamol. The trek is worth it because the views are amazing. And it's not as crowded as other popular treks like the one to Machu Picchu. The best time to go is from April to November when the weather is dry. Number four, Table Mountain in South Africa. Table Mountain is a well-known mountain in Cape Town, South Africa. It has a height of 1,085 meters and is famous for its flat top. You can also see different kinds of animals there, like dassies and small furry animals that look like big meerkats. The mountain is very old, more than 200 million years old. The first time someone is known to have climbed it was in the 16th century by a man from Portugal named Antonio de Saldana. Number 3. Kirschkefell in Iceland. Kirschkefell, which means church mountain, is famous in Iceland. It is often said to be the most photographed place in the country. The mountain is in West Iceland and has a waterfall named Kirschkefellsfoss and some sandy beaches nearby. It was even shown in the TV show Game of Thrones. You can start a hike to the top from a small town near the sea called Grindafjorda. The hike takes about an hour and a half, but it's steep and hard, so it's better to go with a guide unless you are very experienced. If you don't like heights, there is also a trail that goes around the mountain. The best time to visit is in the fall or winter, when you might see the northern lights above the mountain. Number 2. Denali in the USA. Denali is the tallest mountain in North America. It is more than 6,190 meters high and is in Alaska's Denali National Park. The mountain used to be called Mount McKinley, but its official name is now Denali, which local people have used for a long time. You can see the mountain from Denali Park Road, which is 92 miles long. The best time to see the mountain is in the winter, when there are fewer clouds. You can drive the first 15 miles of the road in the summer. From around mile nine, there are places to stop and take good pictures of the mountain. You might also see grizzly bears, so be careful. Number one, Matterhorn in Switzerland slash Italy. The Matterhorn is a mountain that is between Switzerland and Italy. It is 4,478 meters high, less than Mount Blanc, another famous mountain. But the Matterhorn is very famous for its sharp, pyramid-like shape. It is also near a nice ski town in Switzerland called Zermatt. The first person to climb it was Edward Wamper from Britain in 1865. But the climb was sad because four people in his team died while coming down. Nowadays, more than 2,000 people climb the Matterhorn every year. If you want to be one of them, the best route is the Hornley Ridge, and it's good to go in the summer. Wow, what a journey through some of the world's most incredible mountains. Which one caught your eye the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest videos.